guys welcome back to my channel so today is gonna be a kind of get ready with me I'm gonna fill you guys in about what's been happening with me lately and why I haven't really posted in like three weeks I know I'm a bad youtuber I'm so sorry but if you'd like to see what's been happening and see how I did this look then just go ahead and keep on watching pumpkins in the background playing with his toy don't mind him he's literally living his best life right now but am I out of focus so we're gonna start out with our base in this video. I know I never do that, but we're just doing a simple eyeshadow look, so I figured doing my base would be easier first. So to prime, I'm just going to use the YSL, actually, what is this called? The YSL Blur Primer, which just looks like this. Don't mind my nails, you guys. I literally just got them done right, and then I fell down my friend's stairs, and I broke two nails literally the same day that I got them done. I'm supposed to be going back to get them fixed, but your girl hasn't yet. So, yeah, I've been loving this primer, so I'm just going to take one pump and just put that all over my face. Daisy actually put me onto this primer, and I was like, I have to get it. Daisy puts me on to like everything I buy literally. I just bought a whole bunch of stuff off of Sephora and Ulta and Daisy put me on to literally everything that I brought or bought. So I will be doing a haul. I also just bought a whole bunch of clothes so I'll be doing a try on haul for that. So the foundation I'm going to be using today is the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. Now, this is in the shade M30. It's a little bit too dark for me, but it's okay because we'll fix that with concealer. Um, I don't know how I feel about this foundation yet. I used this foundation in the makeup look that I posted that I'm going to do for you guys today. I really don't know how I feel about this. I kind of wanted to use it on camera so you guys can like know my thoughts and know how I feel about it and just like see what it looks like. This definitely is not full coverage at all. Does it even say it's supposed to be full coverage? It doesn't say that it's supposed to be full coverage, but it's really, really light coverage. I think that's one of the reasons I'm kind of like iffy about it. So as you can tell by the title of this video, this video is going to be like a get ready with me where I just talk to you guys about some stuff. Um, I haven't posted a video in literally almost three weeks, I think. I almost just don't know what is in this foundation. I don't know if it's my beauty blender, but I have like white specks on my face and this happened to me last time I used this foundation. But anyways, I haven't posted a video in three weeks and I just feel like I owe you guys an explanation. So I've just been going through a lot in my personal life. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I've been really, really stressed out, like really bad to the point where this has happened to me before actually, but it's to the point where I have no appetite, I can't eat. I've been hungry, but my body just won't let me eat. Like every time I see food in front of me, I'm just like, I'm not hungry anymore. So I've really only been eating once a day, it's so bad. Um, this has happened to me before, but never for this long. Like usually it'll last a couple days or maybe like a week at most But it's never lasted as long as it has. I feel like I've been feeling like this way for Like three weeks to a month and Yeah, I just don't know what to do about it I'm trying to like stop myself from stressing out about things, but You guys know how that goes. Yeah, I've just, there's just been a lot, you guys, just, oh my god, just a lot of things that have been happening, I don't really want to say because I feel like that's just my personal business that I just need to deal with, to be honest, like, I didn't even want to film today, like, I did not feel like doing anything, but I was like, I can't keep doing this you know because like every single day I have a goal to film and then I just end up being like no I don't want to film like I'm not in the mood 
I don't feel good right now. You know, I've just been really tired. And to be honest, like I've been sleeping a lot. That's also bad. So I haven't been eating. I've been sleeping a lot, basically all day, all the time. I just told myself that it's just time to get out of this can't keep doing this to myself because I feel like I go through things a lot like this where I just want to sleep and I just don't want to do anything I have no motivation for anything and there just has to be a point where you're like okay this has to stop you know if I didn't push myself to film today I wouldn't have at all I probably would have just laid in bed and let my life away <laughs> Which is what I've been doing basically. But yeah, that's been going on. And last night I low-key freaked out because my lymph node is swollen and I don't, I didn't know what that meant. I've never had that happen. So I was like, what the hell is going on? And lupus runs in my family. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but my mom has it and it just runs in our genes. And basically, like, that's a sign of lupus. It's, like, tiredness, fatigue, and, like, swollen lymph nodes. Obviously, other things, too. But I kind of was just, like, freaking out. But I went to the doctors today, and they just said that it could be them fighting off a virus. Because I don't feel sick at all. I haven't even been around anyone sick. I don't feel sick. My throat doesn't hurt. Nothing like that. Yeah, so they gave me an antibiotic, but they said if it didn't go away, then I needed to come back. So hopefully it goes away, you guys. Now I'm going to use... My aunt found my jewel charger. I lost it, and I was so sad. But I'm going to use the Naked Skin Concealer. This is in the shade Medium Light Warm. This one's kind of darker, and then I'm going to use the ColourPop No Filter Concealer on top of that. You guys, this has been my favorite concealer combo lately. Like, it just looks so good on top of every foundation, too. And I feel like the two concealers mixed together makes it really full coverage. So we love a full coverage. We love a full coverage concealer. But, yeah, you guys, this is real, okay? This is fucking real. I know a lot of people that... A lot of YouTubers, too, that just, like, go through things like this. And it's real, like, anxiety and... Just feeling depressed and feeling like you don't want to do anything and like stress oh my god it's like how do you stop yourself from stressing out about things that's the hardest part <sighs> like try not to think about it but that never works so you really just have to tell yourself to just go out and do something you know like get your mind off things and just like go do something then you're just so tired that you just can't get out of bed and you just feel like nothing basically literally that's what I've been feeling like nothing I'm just like a walking body walking around but you know what I can't keep doing this I can't keep feeling like this I just I really just need to focus on YouTube getting videos out for you it's like every time I like don't really want to film and then I end up filming I just feel so much better that's why I really just need to push myself because obviously before this I did not want to do anything I did not want to film but like once I sat down and started filming this I just feel so much better like talking to you guys is the best oh well, yeah basically that's what's been going on I know I've been seeing like a lot of comments like when are you posting a video where are you I've struggled with anxiety and depression a lot so it's just the matter like not letting myself fall back into that and I don't feel like I've like fallen back into depression I don't feel like that because I really I know what like really bad depression feels like and I don't feel like that I just feel really just tired I'm like not motivated and I know that sounds like okay Shelby you're depressed but I mean I know what bad depression feels like you know so I don't feel like that, but I don't know how to explain it. You get me if you get me. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so now I'm going to take the, oops, now I'm going to take the LA Girl Pro Face HD Powder. And I feel like this is what really makes, because after I put this on top of the foundation, pumpkin. Really? Mom's trying to film right now. 
I feel like this is what really made the foundation look better is when I put this powder on top because it's such a light coverage foundation that the like even my redness is still poking through if you guys can see that and like my acne because I'm breaking out right now of course whenever I get really stressed out I break out a lot like my chest is breaking out my neck has some breakouts when can a cyst catch a break okay when can a sister catch a break? My eyebrows are horrible right now. Uh, I can't find my tweezers, okay? They're just so bad. I need to get my eyebrows done. I'm just a mess. Oh yeah, the elephant in the room. I dyed my hair blonde. can't really tell right now, obviously, because my hair is up. Yeah, it looks so good, you guys. I just didn't feel like doing my hair because I'm a lazy shitty youtuber um i'm gonna dye it more blonde actually because i kind of want to just dye my whole head blonde i actually still want to keep my roots kind of brown i'm planning on going platinum sometime not right away but i just want to make the bottom more blonder right now and then maybe in a couple months i'll go platinum who knows but i really really love it went to one of my subscribers place she works in gig harbor she did my hair she was so sweet and she hooked your girl up so if you guys are like if you're in washington and you're looking for someone to dye your hair i will leave um her name and like where she works down below and you can like call schedule an appointment with her or something so yeah now for the eyeshadow okay this eyeshadow well it's not an eyeshadow <gasps> oh my god it almost broke but it's actually a blush from Makeup Forever. It says B402. This is the blush. And I just think it's such a pretty color. Like, I'm done. That's literally the only color I'm going to use. I'm going to take my Makeup Shack. It doesn't have a number on it, but it's just like a small tapered fluffy brush. And I'm just going to start to... Oh my god, I set my eyelids. I did not mean to set my eyelids. I was not even thinking because I was like so busy talking. But this is still really, really pigmented. And that's with me setting my eyelids. Like imagine if I didn't set it. But yeah, I'm just going to pack this color on. And it blends out so nice, you guys. Like I'm going to kind of um, point it out. What do you call that? I forgot. I'm going to use the Morphe Y18 brush to kind of do that. And just kind of pack it on the lid. And then I'm just going to take a brush that has no product on it. Well, obviously it has like some shadow stains on it. But I didn't dip this into product. I just kind of use it to blend this out and make sure it's seamless and then I'm just gonna go back in and like pack the color on the lid again because you guys know how it goes but wow you guys look at this it's like so bomb this is such a good eyeshadow well blush for an eyeshadow because it just blends out so good I feel like makeup forever just makes really good high quality products and then I'm just gonna take this brush again and do the lower lash line this is the eyeshadow look. I honestly freaking love this. I think this might be one of my favorite things to use as an eyeshadow right now. It's just such a really, really pretty color. And it's a really, really pretty blush too. I'm going to be using it as blush also. But I just take like a little bit, you know, I just dip it in a little bit so it's not too harsh obviously. I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to do the other eye and then I'm going to put on my lashes and then I will be right back. I'm back. <laughs> so the lashes I use, because I know you guys are going to ask me, these are the, it's called KMYNX lashes. These are bomb, okay? These look like Miami on steroids, literally. These are the style ANA714. I'll like put it down here so you guys can like see it or whatever. But yeah, you guys, these lashes are so bomb. I don't really like Miami lashes anymore. They used to be my favorite, but now I just feel like... They look weird on me. Like when I put them on, they don't look like this. I have to wear them like 10 times for them to look like this. So I really love these lashes, you guys. They're so bomb. I actually think I might have a coupon code. Hold on. Let me look. Let me look. If you want to get some shimoney off. Okay. I have a coupon code, but I don't know what it is. So I just asked them. 
So I will have that linked in the description box for you guys or if they tell me while I'm editing this, I will like put it right here for you guys. So yeah, bomb as fuck. Now we're going to move on to like face and bronzing and stuff like that. So I'm going to use my favorite bronzer at the moment. It's the Beach Bronzer by Open Decay and this one is in the shade Bronze. I'm going to use that on the Makeup Shack T22 brush. This has been my favorite contouring brush. Like, it just gets right in there, you know? And then I just like to take this Morphe M527 brush. It's just like a fluffy, huge brush. And I just like to kind of blend that out a little bit. Because you don't want it to be, like, too harsh. Like, you just have a line on your face. You guys know what's so funny that I find, like, hilarious? Everyone always thinks I'm high in my videos, but I'm not. Let me tell you, if I was, like, high filming a video, you guys would definitely be able to tell because when i'm high like i just want to sit there and chill and not talk to anyone like i just be chilling you know so if i was high i would not be able to film a video because your girl gets really paranoid and just like looks at everyone you know observes everyone when she's high why am i talking about myself in third person i said when she's high <laughs> I literally only smoke sometimes at night if I'm like, fuck my life. I just dip this in the freaking blush. But I only smoke like sometimes at night if I can't sleep or something, you know? Because it helps me sleep. Or like lately I've been smoking so I can like eat because I haven't been able to eat. And literally the only time I can eat is when I'm high. Like look how pretty this bronzer is. I just feel like I know my face is like kind of darker than my neck. But let's just disregard that because what's new, you know? What's new? I literally lightly dip this into the, bl the blush because I don't want it to be too much. So I'm going to use the Hyper Real Glow by MAC. I've actually... Pumpkin. Pumpkin's guilty. Look at this. Pumpkin! Did you do this? Where are you? I don't know where he is. He's hiding because he knew. He knows he did this. At least he didn't ruin like the one I'm actually using. <laughs> so I'm going to set my face with the Pixie Skin Treats Vitamin O. This is actually a wake up mist, but I like setting my face with this because it's actually really, really good. It makes your face all glowy. And we just love a glow. The thing I like about this highlighter too is some gold highlights, when you look forward, you can see just a mark right there, you know? And it doesn't look good. But this one doesn't leave that. That's what I really, really like about it. I actually tried to order the Anastasia Amrezi highlighter because that's like one of my favorite highlighters. I didn't get it in PR. I'm pretty sure they took me off their PR list. I don't know why though, but whatever. But I tried to buy it, and it's out of stock, or they stopped selling it. I'm so sad. They should, like, make that permanent. It kind of reminds me of this one, except this one, I feel like, has a little bit more of a yellow undertone than that one. I feel like it's really universal, actually. Like, I feel like this would look really, really good on, like, darker skin tones, and it can work for, like, my type of skin tone. I don't feel like it'd work if you were, like, super, super pale. Okay, and I know this is probably what some of you guys have been waiting for, is my lip color. So, I'm going to use the Jouer Lip Liner in Nude. I've been really, really into, like, nude lipsticks. With me, it's either I'm wearing a really nude lipstick or I'm wearing a red lipstick. Like, there's no in-between. Those are, like, my favorite lip colors to wear. And then I'm going to use this Morphe, or actually, this is ColourPop. ColourPop Satin Lip in midnight snack and then you can just keep it like this if you want but i'm gonna add a gloss because i'm a glossy kind of girl this is the buxom lip plumper in the shade pink champagne you guys if you're looking for a good lip plumper buxom has the best lip plumpers okay i swear by these these have been my favorite for like a year now they're so good so i'm just gonna add that over this this is literally what makes my lips look just like so juicy and full it's lip gloss and especially this like when i just wear this alone it also makes my lips just look 
super juicy and full so i highly highly recommend this i wish i told you guys about this earlier because ulta was actually having a sale i think these were ten dollars i think they run about twenty dollars but it's definitely worth it so yeah this is the completed video you guys i really really hope you enjoyed and kind of got an insight of what's been happening in my life i don't know if i made sense in this video but you know if you know okay so i'm gonna I'm not good about like talking about my feelings and, like stuff that happens you know i usually just keep it to myself i'm really not good about like talking about things you know so yeah if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you aren't already subscribed go ahead and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye